A man in 20 years built a treehouse of 80 rooms and 10 floors. There is even a sports ground there. Hi guys. Absolutely every person on this planet has his hobby and passion. Some people like fishing and are just crazy about it, others prefer, for example, soccer. There are even people who like to just lie on the sofa by the TV, while the neighbor likes to build something with his own hands. But even though we are all very similar, at the same time we are absolutely different, and each person perceives this world in his own way. There is nothing surprising or bad about such things, guys. Today I will tell you about the man and his amazing house, which he made with his own hands, having spent long 20 years of his life, dozens of tons of material, and 250,000 nails. And of course, many hundreds of sleepless nights to create his masterpiece. Believe me, you have not seen such a thing for sure. Not far from the city of Crossville, Tennessee, there is a very unusual place, which has long since become famous worldwide for its giant scale. More specifically, it is famous for its scale of the house, which is built on a tree. The area of this unique structure, known as Horace Burgess's treehouse, is 1,300 square meters. The house itself is 30 meters high and has incredible 10 floors and 80 rooms. At the same time, it floats in the air, and six large trees serve as a support for such a serious construction. The history of the only founder of this house, 66-year-old American priest, Horace Burgess, began in 1993. It was then, as the master himself claims, that he had a divine vision, which prompted him to build something big. A place where adults can come and rest, not only with their souls but also realize their children's fantasies about their own special treehouse in the forest. In that distant year, no one could have imagined that a man would eventually succeed. In general, Horace chose a beautiful place in the forest and took up the task. All he had then was just a few ready-made boards, a hammer, and a hundred nails. Probably, the most important thing was a great desire. But you know what is even more surprising? The fact that the structure, which Horace conceived, was made according to his own design. At the same time, it is known that the priest is a self-taught carpenter, with no special education and only a little knowledge of landscape architecture. That is why all the calculations, as well as the design of his house on a tree and in general all the work he did was absolutely independently. Initially, the man used wood from old sheds, parts of buildings construction waste, and later the locals began to help the man with materials. As I said before, the house has 10 floors and 80 rooms, as well as a church and a basketball court inside. It is built around a white oak tree 25 meters high, which serves as the main support. The man worked on his project almost non-stop, giving all of himself. On the top floor, Horace built a penthouse for his beloved wife, and in general, the plan of the house is quite complicated and even confusing. The house has many stairs, hidden passages, and secret rooms, which only the master himself knows about. The central part of the huge house is a spiral staircase, which curls around a tree and serves as one of the two main passages. On each floor, there are rooms, corridors, terraces, and, of course, balconies. According to witnesses, those who managed to visit this house for a long time could not recover from what they saw. After all, it is so big that it is more like a large hotel or palace, but certainly not a treehouse, which was built by only one person. On the first floor of more than 150 square meters, there is a chapel, which until 2012 every Sunday received people and held services. All that is above is just a lot of empty space and labyrinths of rooms and corners. Given the fact that the support of the house is trees, from strong wind, the house is pretty swinging, but as the owner himself claims, the house can withstand a hurricane. And by the way, it really is. The unique treehouse was not damaged by tornadoes and thunderstorms a few years ago, while ordinary houses were destroyed. Electricity was provided to the house, and according to Horace's plans the water supply had to be set up. All around the perimeter of the house, there are wooden statues created by John Tipple, which were once exhibited in front of the courthouse in Crossville. In the middle of Zero, a large number of tourists from different parts of the world learned about this place and the house opened its doors for visitors. On average, the house was visited by up to 100 people a week and Horace himself conducted excursions, telling about the stages of construction, took guests to their rooms, and did not take money for all this. Over time, he even planned to open a summer camp here for extreme lovers. 
there were a large number of plans that included a water tank infiltration system, heating, and even an elevator, but unfortunately, none of these were destined to come true. Because the house was built without any professional project, the Tennessee Fire Department closed the treehouse for visitors because it did not meet fire safety requirements. But even so, Horace Burgess's treehouse was officially recognized as the world's largest treehouse and even entered the Guinness Book of Records. Now a large number of people illegally visit this building at their own risk, but still, the house is slowly falling into decline. Of course, some vandals stole all the copper wiring and did not stop covering the walls with graffiti. Also, illegal tourists cut carved inscriptions and curses with knives on the walls, which hurts the creator of the house. Many of the windows and doors also suffered from thieves, and in general, everything that could be stolen and spoiled is already done. Horace, however, is incredibly proud of his creation and believes that many years of hard work and $14,000 were not wasted. After all, his house has been seen by several thousand people over the years, and the construction itself is still a landmark, not only for residents of nearby cities but even for the whole state. Here is such a wooden skyscraper came out at the self-taught, who built it with his own hands. And this at least deserves a lot of respect for his work. Write your opinion in the comments. How do you like this idea of building a house right on a tree? Well, that's all for today. I hope you liked it. See you soon.